Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is MacGyver Backpacking, and today we're out here to do a five minute review. The piece of gear we'll be reviewing today is my go-to canister stove. When the weather's colder and I'm gonna be doing more boiling during the day, it's just convenient to have a canister stove that can get water boiling or up to temperature really quick and there's not a lot of messing around with things. And so my choice and what I'm reviewing today is the Soto Windmaster. And so this is a stove by a Japanese company and uh, the company's called Soto. The stove body itself weighs 2.12 ounces and it produces 11,000 BTUs. Uh, this thing can burn on an eight ounce canister for one and a half hours. And when it only takes two minutes to boil two cups of water, that's pretty good. You're gonna get a lot of use out of one canister. Uh, this does come with two different pot stands. So the pot stand that it normally comes with is the four flex. And so you can see that they're removable. They aren't part of it. They go on and off. Uh, so it is a second piece that you have to carry that you want to make sure that you aren't losing. But with the four flex, you can put up to a two liter pot on here. Very cool design. The Windmaster itself is a concave design. And so the flame is, is actually protected by the wall here, which is really nice and makes it perform extremely well. Now I've gotten boil times on two cups of water. I barely ever use two cups of water, but I've gotten boil times of like a minute and a half. So we'll put this on here screws on just like any normal canister. And so the, uh, the profile, it is a little bit taller, but the, the cool part, the part that's really important is the flame to pot distance. And you'll notice when I put this on here, that distance is very, very short. There's not a lot of distance between the pot and the flame. And so, that's what really helps with protecting from the wind. We'll see if my igniter is going to work. Nah, it's not. No igniter. So we'll turn that up. So while we've got that going right now, mine with the Triflex is 2.3 ounces. It's a little bit heavier with the Four Flex. You see, even though it's really windy out today, but I've got no problems with the flame pattern here. It's just performing flawlessly. But here you can take a good close look at this stove. And uh, it's got a micro regulator and so you can make very fine adjustments on it. This is one of the few canister stoves that you can actually really cook with. You can hear it comes on, you can make very, very fine uh, adjustments with it. But even with a 550, which is not a big, big mug, this will fit right down in there. See that fits right inside of there. Throw this in here. I usually have some uh, carbon felt that I'll use just to, to keep from burning my hands when I'm using this. Throw my lighter in there, throw the top on, and everything's contained right in this 550. Let's talk a little more about this stove. So I have compared this stove to other stoves that are out there. And as far as efficiency goes and performance in the wind, this is by far the most efficient and uh, best performing stove, canister stove I've used in any wind situation. Even in windy conditions, this stove will perform better than many other stoves out there in completely calm conditions. So final thoughts on this stove. This is a stove that's absolutely worth buying. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about $65. It's another, uh, you know, 10 or 20 bucks for the, the three prong rather than the four prong but you're gonna save some weight going that direction. And if you're using something like a 550, 650, even up to a 700, uh, no problem at all. It actually says up to an 800 with this pot stand. If you're going bigger than that, if you're cooking for multiple people, uh, you'll want the four flex, which is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but I don't think you can go wrong with this. If you have an igniter that, that stops working like mine, for 995, you can buy a new one, replace it, and so, you can keep it really functioning and you don't need it as long as you're carrying a, a backup method to light with uh, you can always get it lit which i highly recommend you're always carrying something extra with you I have not had zero problems with leaking and it just performs flawlessly it, it does have that micro regulator so you can fine tune your cooking and actually cook with it you can actually simmer foods uh, or boil i primarily just boil water and so i just turn it up let it run and uh, 
I've usually got a boiling pot of water in under two minutes. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. If you've used this stove, I want to hear from you. If you have a different stove that you go to, what is it? Leave those comments down below as well. If you haven't done so before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Helps us out tremendously. Costs you absolutely nothing. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I will see you guys down the trail.